Nikola Tesla was an incredible inventor, arguably the best of all time and my personal favorite. For many years, Tesla did not receive proper credit due to him. However, over the past few years, many people have started to take notice of all his great accomplishments and contributions in many areas, including x-rays, neon lamps, the hydroelectric power plant, the induction motor, Tesla coil, remote control, robotics, drones, and many other things. But perhaps more importantly are his contributions in alternating current. And while Tesla did not invent or discover alternating current, but instead with his great inventions made AC applicable in our everyday lives and helped electrify the world we know today. While talking about AC, it is impossible not to talk about Edison's DC or direct current and the war of the currents, which many of you might already be familiar with and might already know that it was ultimately won by Tesla and his financial backer Westinghouse. The War of the Currents reached a pivotal historical event when Westinghouse won the bid to light the Chicago World Fair in 1893. However, in this list, we won't be covering all this since many others have already done such a wonderful job here on YouTube. Instead, today we will focus on little known interesting facts surrounding Tesla. Now, without any further delay, these are 15 Tesla facts I bet you didn't know. Number 15. Nikola Tesla was born during a lightning storm. Tesla was born around midnight between July 9th and July 10th in 1856 during a fierce lightning storm. According to family legend, midway through the birth, the midwife wrung her hands and declared the lightning a bad omen. This child will be a child of darkness, she said. To which Tesla's mother replied, no, he will be a child of light. Number 14. Tesla believed that drinking whiskey daily would allow him to live to the age of 150. Not a day went by without a glass of whiskey making its way to Tesla's hands. He wasn't just an alcoholic. He was also convinced he had found the secret of health. Tesla came from a long line of men who drank heavily and lived long lives and he was convinced there was a correlation. Following the great family tradition, he drank heavily, claiming it gave him a burst of energy and kept him alive. When the US entered Prohibition, he had no way to get his hands on his elixir of life. He didn't take it happily. Tesla cursed the US government for robbing him of his liquor and said they had shortened his lifespan to a mere 130 years. Number 13. Tesla was an environmentalist. The inventor was deeply concerned about people quickly consuming the Earth's resources and was an advocate for renewable fuel and energy. He researched methods of using natural energy from the ground and the sky to minimize the human impact of fossil fuel consumption. Number 12. He had a pearl phobia. Tesla could not stand the sight of pearls to the extent that he refused to speak to a woman wearing them. One day when his secretary wore some pearl jewelry, he sent her home for the day. No one knows why such an aversion, but Tesla had a very particular sense of style and aesthetics. Some say that he believed that in order to be successful, one needed to look successful. He wore white gloves to dinner every night and pride himself in being a dapper dresser. Number 11. He never slept more than two hours at a time. Tesla's sleeping habits were just as odd as the rest of his practices. Tesla claimed that he would never sleep more than two hours a day, and legends have it that he once worked 84 hours straight without a second's rest. He would often stay up all night lighting up his laboratory with his experiments and strange sounds that kept his neighbors awake. It got to the point that police were used to getting concerned calls about Tesla. His lab assistants, though, dispute that he only slept for two hours a day. They reported that he made it through the day with scattered power naps. Still, sleeping far less than healthy, but at least a bit more than two hours. He got extra rest too, through pure exhaustion. Reportedly, Tesla would sometimes collapse in the middle of his work and fall asleep. His body was too tired to go on. Number 10. Tesla predicted the cell phone. Tesla stated the following. When wireless is perfectly applied, the whole world will be converted into a huge brain, which in fact it is, all things being particles of a real and rhythmic whole. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, irrespectively of distance, 
Not only this, but through television and telephony, we shall see and hear one another perfectly, as though we were face to face, despite intervening distances of thousands of miles. And the instruments through which we shall be able to do this will be amazingly simple compared to our present telephone. A man will be able to carry one in his vest pocket. Nikola Tesla, 1926. Number nine. Tesla was so smart his teachers accused him of cheating. While attending high school, Tesla was able to perform complex mathematical operations purely in his head, which prompted his math teachers to accuse him of cheating, since they believed it was impossible to do this without working out the problem first on paper. Which just goes to show you, no matter how smart you are, you still gotta show your work at school. Number 8. He gave credit to his mother for his genius. Tesla's mother was a hardworking woman with many talents who created appliances to help with home and farm responsibilities. One of these was a mechanical egg beater. Tesla attributed all his inventive instincts to his mother. Number 7. He had a great vision for the future. Nikola Tesla was proud of his accomplishments in the AC systems he created and his contributions into building the power grid that we currently have in place. However, in Tesla's future, he saw our current system as just a primitive first step into the future. In Tesla's future, he envisioned electrifying the whole world through a wireless system network that would allow for unlimited free energy to power everything including our everyday devices and also our vehicles of the future. This is what Tesla was attempting to accomplish with his Warren Cliff Tower. Unfortunately, he was never able to complete his research and testing since he ran out of money and his financial backer, JP Morgan, pulled the funding when he found out he wouldn't make as much money since it couldn't be metered and controlled like our current system. Many debate whether or not Tesla would have succeeded, which it isn't clear since there is many unknowns and because he was never able to complete his work. Unfortunately, we may never get an answer to this question. The tower itself was eventually tore down. Number 6. Nikola Tesla invented the radio, not Marconi. For the past 75 years, many people have falsely believed that Marconi is the inventor of the radio. However, this is not the case. And this is what Tesla had to say when he was questioned about this when he was alive. Marconi is a good fella. Let him continue. He is using 17 of my patents. However, it is important to note that Tesla changed his mind later on in life when Marconi won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his invention of the radio. He undoubtedly felt that Marconi was taking credit for his work. Marconi died in 1937 and Tesla died in 1943, and six months later after his death, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that all of Marconi's radio patents were invalid and awarded the patents of the radio to Tesla. Number 5. Tesla possessed an incredible memory. During his lifetime, Tesla read many works and books, allegedly memorizing them completely. He supposedly possessed a quote-unquote photographic memory, or eidetic memory to be more exact. He was a polyglot, speaking eight languages, Serbo-Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Hungarian, Italian, and Latin. His incredible memory also came in handy when his whole lab was burned to the ground. He was allegedly able to rebuild everything, including all his inventions, notes, purely from his memories. Number 4. Tesla ripped up the contract with Westinghouse worth billions of dollars and ends up dying poor. In 1888, Tesla met with the Westinghouse Electric Company founder and president George Westinghouse, whom agreed to license Tesla's patents for the lump sum of $60,000 or $1.4 million in today's money. In addition, he would give Tesla 150 shares of stock and a $2.50 royalty per horsepower generated by Tesla's AC motors. Tesla was also given a monthly salary of $2,000, which is equivalent to $48,000 per month in today's money. But Tesla's real windfall didn't come from the stock, the salary, or the bonuses. It came from those royalties of $2.50 per horsepower generated. Unfortunately, the War of the Currents, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, if not, I will provide a link below, took a big financial toll on Westinghouse. 
Edison, on the other hand, was able to weather the storm since he was backed by a millionaire financier, J.P. Morgan. By 1907, after nearly 20 years of fighting with Edison, Westinghouse was more than $10 million in debt and teetering on the verge of bankruptcy. Out of desperation, Westinghouse approached Tesla with a proposition. Westinghouse begged Tesla to temporarily rescind his royalties in order to allow the company to survive. Westinghouse further explained that if the company went bankrupt, Tesla would be faced with the near impossible task of retrieving his royalties from stingy bank creditors. To Westinghouse's amazement, Tesla tore up the original contract on the spot. Tesla was grateful to Westinghouse for believing in him when nobody else would. By tearing up the contract and relinquishing his royalties, Tesla single-handedly saved the Westinghouse Electric Company. In return, Westinghouse paid Tesla the lump sum of $216,000 for his patents in perpetuity. That is worth roughly $5.4 million in today's money. In retrospective, Tesla was a brilliant inventor, but he was a terrible businessman. In 1907, when he tore up this contract, bankers estimated the value of his patents to be $12 million. Shockingly, $12 million in 1907 is the equivalent to more than $300 million today adjusted for inflation. Obviously, the smarter move would have been for Tesla to offer five years of suspended royalties to allow Westinghouse to get back on his feet and destroy Edison. Over the next decade, alternating current wiped out direct current and became the electric standard across the world. Had Tesla held on to his royalty over this time, even by conservative estimates, he would have become the richest person on the planet and the first person with a net worth of a billion dollars. Had he not ripped up the contract, today those same AC motor royalties would generate billions of dollars for Tesla's relatives. But Tesla did not care for money. Tesla was a humanist. Tesla believed in improving the quality of human life, but not for financial gains. And this is why, despite many of his inventions and contributions to society, he died relatively poor. Number three. He had incredible visions. Tesla related in his autobiography that he experienced detailed moments of inspiration during his early life. Tesla was stricken with illness time and time again. He suffered a peculiar affection in which blinding flashes of light would appear before his eyes, often followed by visions, which caused many powerful vivid nightmares for him, which is also the reason behind his odd sleeping habits later on in life. Often, the visions were linked to a word or idea he might have come across. At other times, it would provide the solution to the particular problem he had encountered. Just by hearing the name of an item, he would be able to envision it in realistic detail. Tesla stated that he could visualize his inventions in great detail. He had no need for models, drawings, or experiments. He could picture them just as real in his mind. He wouldn't rush to actual work. He would change the construction, make improvements, operate the device, all in his mind before actually creating it. He stated that it was not important to him if he ran the experiments in his mind or in his shop. To him, it was virtually the same thing. Maybe this skill or curse, depending on how you see it, was the source of Tesla's incredible genius. Number two, Tesla nearly died. Young Tesla had his heart set on becoming an engineer, but was constantly oppressed by his father and his insistence of entering the priesthood, as he himself was an orthodox priest. At the age of 17, Tesla was stricken with cholera, and even in his illy grave state, he craftily extracted an important concession from his father. He managed to get his father to promise that if he would survive, he would be allowed to attend the world-renowned Austrian Polytechnic School in Graz and study engineering. Eventually, Tesla was able to fight off the disease and his wish became a reality. And without a shadow of a doubt, it was an extremely pivotal moment in Tesla's life and perhaps just as huge of a deal for humanity. Number 1. Tesla and Edison were rivals, but not sworn enemies. Many have characterized Nikola Tesla's and Thomas Edison's relationship as that of bitter rivals. But in reality, their relationship was largely misinterpreted. In his early career, Tesla worked for Edison and designed direct current generators for him, but famously quit to pursue his own project, the alternating current induction motor. Sure, they were on different sides of the so-called current wars, with Edison pushing direct current and Tesla alternating current. However, on a rare occasion, Edison attended a conference where Tesla was speaking. Edison, hard of hearing and not wanting to be spotted, slipped through the back of the auditorium to listen to the lecture. 
but Tesla spotted Edison in the crowd and called attention to him, which led the audience to give him a standing ovation. Some people saying the two had a love and hate relationship. At first, Edison dismissed Tesla, but came to eventually respect them, and even offering Tesla a place to work after Tesla's lab was burned down. I think the quote Tesla gave to the newspaper upon Edison's death illustrates the respect they had towards each other and the difference in their methodology. Tesla had this to say, if Edison had a needle to find in a haystack, he would proceed at once with the diligence of a bee to examine straw after straw until he found the object of his search. I was sorry to witness such doings, knowing a little bit of theory and calculation would save him 90% of his labor. Nikola Tesla Hey everyone, JC here. Thank you for watching. If this is the first time that you are finding my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on similar content in the future. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.